I was about to have my fifth at the time, my fifth child at the time, so I didn't have anyone to take care of my children while I went into labor. We was homeless and then I didn't want my baby to be out in the cold. It's, it's really been a, a godsend. I had no idea that um, these kind of resources were available. This is a beautiful place, and like I said, the kids are nonstop playing. Right. When I first started going around and they talking and explaining to me, I felt warm and sad, so I knew it was a home. I didn't think anything like that existed. The word needs to get out. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, Lily, I'm so glad that you came. I'm delighted to have you come see our crisis nursery. Show me the labor of your love. Well, you know, Maryville Academy has been caring for children since 1883. And our mission has, has long been, and still is, to provide homes for children who can't live safely at home. But now we've given some reflection to, is there some way that we could intervene sooner and help the families in those difficult times so the children don't have to be separated from their parents. And the answer is? Our crisis nursery. Whoa! Okay. I would like you to meet our program director, Amy Kendall Lynch. Let's take this. What's neat about the nursery is we can deal with an immediate need because we're open 24-7, whether that be because there's a medical emergency, whether a parent, particularly a mother, is dealing with postpartum depression, mm -hmm. if there's been a domestic violence situation, or just the day-to-day -day stresses of life. Having five kids in general, um, I have one with autism, I have twins that have sensory issues, so it can get difficult. This used to be where mom or grandma Absolutely. or the friendly neighbors or you know mothers pulled their resources and gave each other a break. We've had a lot of stress the last couple of years and it's been very, very helpful for them to be able to take Paul for a little while while yeah. we deal with our We friends. lost both my parents in the space of a year. I have a sister but she travels a lot on business and we don't have any uh, friends in the area who have um, children. The closest one is about 50 miles away. So we really, we didn't have anyone to, uh, to turn to in an emergency. To me, it's like family. When my kids, when I get them ready to go, it's like, it's all smooth and simple. They're just excited and they really love it. Well, let me tell you, this is a real special room to the Crisis Nursery. This is our library. Our library is very important because our staff frequently read to their children before nap time, before bedtime, because it's just a gentle way of supporting children's learning and also modeling for parents how critical that is. He loves to be read to and he's starting to read a little bit and every time he goes there he gets to take a book home with him. Cool! Just therapeutically for children telling stories about their feelings and things that are going on when things are stressed is another outlet for them to sort of normalize things and to share their feelings when times are difficult. I know we're in something called a crisis nursery, but it really doesn't feel like an institution. We've been able to achieve this warmth of really coming from our staff and the care of the children. These are the real heroes, our staff who care a great deal about children, and so they come to us. We want to pay a living wage, but the truth is that social services is never going to make people rich. So when our staff come, they come because they really care about the children. I know he is enjoying it because every time when <laughs> I bring him back, he is always happy to see everybody. You are looking beautiful. It's non-stop activity, so they're not just doing, they're going from room to room doing different things, so that's what I like about it. At home, she can't ride the bike, so when she goes to the Christ nursery, she knows she can ride the bike all through there. <laughs> And they also help you individually. How have they taken the time to figure out what you and your kids need individually? Job referrals. Job referrals, food referrals, um, clothes referrals. And then Miss Amy called the GED program place because they lost my application. She got on them, so I got my GED. <laughs> I love this place so much. It's very relieving. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> no matter how much you love your child, you need a little break from them every now and then, just for sanity's sake. 
and um, you know, absolutely. <laughs> how do you pay for all of this to happen? This is an investment in our children and families for our society. And our children today, if they grow up healthy, if they've had the adults come and put their arms around them figuratively and sometimes literally, um, tomorrow when they're the adults and the leaders in our society, they will bring that experience of love and support and a healthy upbringing into their leadership in the society. All of this is really just paying it forward. That's exactly what it's doing, exactly what it's doing. What I can promise you is that anyone who supports the crisis nursery, it made a difference. I felt like they was part of my family when I really needed them. The crisis nursery. <laughs>